because like that's how you're about to get their problems and like literally i had a guy that he felt like was a serial killer like some kind of like weird paid hitman recording me so this is where after that hangout i was gonna hang out with him again like i wasn't even super sus after that even though i was in the moment but not enough to be scared to stop connecting with this man the thing is i had to actually get very intelligent based on me leaving my body <laughs> and i took a mental flight out of my body and it was in this flight where i created dissect the dialect it was in this flight where i was able to communicate with all these other spirits that are making me possible and basically i got connected to mercury and i got to see how anubis and i are working together so everything that anubis is built with atlantis and everything that i built with mercury i get to see like they combined in this whole flight so i was this time it was all about communicating with all just all the spirits like who are like making symmetry possible basically shout out all the spirits who make symmetry possible thank you all so much like thank you i'm so infinitely grateful to not have to be going through what blaine is going through he's gonna get a whole episode because he deserves to be talked about he's gone through a lot and he's a very interesting man and i love him again his name's not really blaine uh maybe i'll give his real name out in the next episode but right now he's known as blaine shout out him esoterically like we're connected it's good like the point was we connected enough and after that meeting i was going to connect with him again but when i flew out of my body it was this particular time where i basically got shown the operations of atlantis and mercury and they were taking me through all the telecommunications all the technology because just know that all this technology that allows us to communicate down here in physical reality is literally like the jewish christian white supremacist version of what indigenous peoples have been doing interdimensionally and we are doing on way greater scales than these people can conceive because they're too busy actually projecting their imaginations at us so right now like best believe like me doing this podcast is the best time of all these white supremacist lives like all these actual like racist evil a judeo-christian baby eating illuminati freemasonic people <laughs> spirits whatever all like they are so happy that i as tehuti trismegistus am actually here translating more of myself into english they support me they love me they love enoch they love mercury they love hermes they love thoth they love hermeticism they love using hermeticism to teach you that you should build their heaven and not your own. But they're constantly going to keep coming to me to learn how to actually build their own heaven. <laughs> it's just, again, their version of heaven is enslaving you. So you could just come straight to Hermes and be taught how to be the master of yourself so that you don't become a slave. And this is why connections are important, because symmetry is connected. Like trees are about connection. That's what our next episode will be. 20 to zero extra space for connections. That's what I saw on this whole trip where it was like right after hanging out with him, they, the Mercurian death spirits, all my indigenous death spirits in general, and they're like all the purple teeth vibes and they all like are just super, I mean, super cool, super intense though. Very intense. They were showing me how the medical industry was actively trying to uh, come after me, literally, and how I saw the physical manifestation like they were literally communicating this to me and how they're protecting me. And I'm so, like, thank you guys. Like the fact that I can even say this like this. Thank you so much. So many spirits have to be working together to make sure that I can continuously express the wisdom from my space as Chase Clarence Calloway so many spirits have to work together to make this possible all based on me being the synchronicity i'm here at the right moment i came here for you i came here to 
elevate you. I want you to awaken. I love you a lot. I want you to connect with yourself and be happy in your own space and build infinite worlds from there so that the universe can expand in ways that we, uh, just allow all of us to connect. Because that's what we're going to see with virtual reality. Again, like I'm talking about the indigenous version. The white supremacist version is us paying money to be enslaved in replicating what I'm saying with these words <laughs> inside of their virtual reality world. That's what Mark Zuckerberg is up here about. You can be in your own home space on our virtual reality that you're paying money for inside of a simulation that we are causing climate change in because we're harvesting the land of indigenous peoples and enslaving all of you. What? What? So it was in this trip where they're showing me all the operations of how they are just telecommunicating in ways that allow my body to be possible, literally. Like, you can imagine this on a cellular level. Like, I'm talking about it on an astrological level, like going up into the universe and like looking down at Earth and like all the simulations, like all planets and seeing how they're all connected by spirits wanting to communicate and then seeing the technology behind that and knowing that I'm... Uh, very integral in setting all this up. <laughs> I am the cosmic chi conductor. I'm Chase Clarence Calloway. I got the caduceus. It's all about communication. Again, the medical industry wants to use the caduceus to mess up your body's ability to communicate with all these injections. So, whatever. That's how they build their body to communicate. Fact is, it's communication and life only matters because you're communicating it from the inside out. Otherwise, there's no matter. So when they were showing me this, they were like very coldly communicating to me and they ran my mind through simulations. That's where they like, they literally ran me through simulations after this meeting with him of like being recorded by the guy and Don being like, yeah, he seems like a guy who like, he reminds me of the guy from the movie who busts into your house and cuts up your fingers and tortures you and gets all your passwords to your stuff. Like... <laughs> It was literally a few days after, like when it was, oh my gosh, it was the day right before I was supposed to go see him. Like the day right before I was supposed to go hang out with this man that I took a flight out of my body and got connected and was in these spaces with my Mercurian spirits and the Atlantean spirits who are all working together to connect and communicate so that the universe is even possible in the first place. So, boom, like that's how this simulation, it exists inside the universe. That's the point of Anubis being the god of death. He helps connect all simulations. Dogs are a man's best friend. So, that's where they were very coldly communicating to me that the medical industry is actively like plotting and trying to like basically take my teeth. And they ran me through simulations of like, hey, would you be able to actually handle um, if three dudes busted into your place and took your teeth or like did this and this and this? And they're like, literally, I was just being like ran through simulations through Mercury, like through this technology, this astral realm technology, because all life is simulated. So what spirits can do with light is infinite things. That's why light is everything. It's just a matter of how much you wait in light so that it seems like it matters and becomes actually heavy. So light is everything. And that's where when you can actually know how to simulate life with your mind, that's, I mean, actual magic. So they were running me through these simulations of actually dealing with like uh, the repercussions of con continuously connecting with this man, basically. Like literally, if I kept connecting with this man, what would happen to me? And they were like, look, you do not need more attention on you. Like, we've got you covered. Know that. We've got you covered, but you don't need that attention on you. And they were just running me through, like, look what happens if you keep going out of your space and you keep connecting with a man who has that kind of attention on him and then you get that kind of attention on you. Do you like the result of what is being simulated? And I'm like, yeah, definitely not, <laughs> like, no. And of, like the whole point was them being like, cool. Now just know that we got you. I mean, like we're, we, we're not calling you into a simulation 
just for you to not be able to communicate because <laughs> literally like in these in these simulations my mind is like forced to communicate like i'm talking with these spirits like well what's the point of me being in a body like what's the point of me being down here sharing all of this like why would i be here doing all of this spiritual wisdom to hootie hermes chickatet symmetry irisel chase work if i'm just going to like get messed up by a horrible industry and yeah the point is you have to more consciously communicate so i learned so much from him here i am building a podcast about it i mean it built a, a, my life yeah it's a part of my life now so i had to once i like literally got back from that whole flight like i was super grateful to them because they were just showing me the whole operation of like yeah we got you like the point is you can't even go through things like that guy like us as spirits this is why air is the ultimate power communication is the ultimate power this is why i was practicing air bending as a child until my mom took me to my kung fu teacher who told me to stop practicing because i would mess up my chi and instead we i was supposed to spend money going to his classes of course wow i as a kid should have kept practicing air bending that's so whack whatever <sighs> hey i mean that's the point of being a kid you're at the reaction of your environment because you're riding the wave so you can relate and reflect on it as you get older so when i came back from that flight after giving them super gratitude for like being connected and like supporting me so much and it's like so amazing how much of a two-way street it is because i'm so happy i'm being supported and all i want to do is be supported in my ability to support you <laughs> like it's like so virgoian my soul actually like that's just that's all of my feelings like i'm, I'm thought i create my feelings but the only feelings i can really then imagine creating like if there's any like wanting or whatever as far as just like connecting with something outside of myself i would want to be supported in my ability to support you so that's where i was just super grateful to see how much i am being supported in my ability to be here as chase and like kick all this spiritual health stuff <laughs> basically like just being literally my authentic self in the fullest capacity addressing how this industry that is putting blaine i almost said a different name <laughs> that's putting blaine through hell is using my creation to harvest everyone's energy and i'm so glad i had the conversations i did with blaine when i came back from that trip i literally had to hop on my phone and i canceled the meeting that i had with him by telling him that i was going out of town and it was that simple he was like oh yeah absolutely like let me know when you get back into town haven't texted him since and i'm pretty sure we're still like we are actually definitely connected in the astral that's the point of like being intelligent the layers of communication like me as a body here i can't actually be um going into circumstances like that versus my mind my mind can travel and do anything like my mind can travel and communicate with him in ways that aren't even possible with the words that we have inside of these bodies so if he is even aware in that level then there would be no point in me actually using my words or my body to go communicate with him i could just use my mind and we would get way more stuff done we'd be way more productive so again that's like his limits then and whatever that's where you have to connect with everyone on their level and the level that he's connecting with reality on is i'm alone because i'm getting poisoned and everyone gets harassed and the very last thing i need is the eyes that are on him being like whoa this guy's talking about people being able to strain their teeth because this whole the whole like literally my whole life has been about decolonize your face as chase clarence calloway my whole life has actually been about my teeth. My whole life has actually been about my skeleton and my spine. And it's all led up to this, realizing the importance of communication and mercury and creating something out of nothing and all of the ways in which we do that so that we can do it even better. 
because if we're just lost in the ways that we're creating, we're going to drown in our own emotions. So I know as thought as to Hootie, I'm creating my emotions so that I can make matter feel like it actually matters. That's where all my magic comes from. That's the law of vibration. That's just then where I would want my emotions to be supported by the emotions that I'm connecting to. If I'm connecting to a simulation that's calling me away to teach it how to be healthier, then I would like my TikTok to not get blocked after 19 days of me straight water fasting and sharing how much healthier we can get from actually connecting with ourselves and eating nothing. So whatever, I get it. We're in a white supremacist world. Like this guy went through all of this physical hell. I actually went through a bunch of mental hell, building up all of that and now having it deleted and gone. I, I'm not comparing it to his because we can't compare. We naturally do compare because that's what nature is. Like everything is in one air, so it's comp air. But you can't say that one is like equivalent to the other because it's individual. I wouldn't want to go through his experiences. Like I, I can't imagine that for myself. I wouldn't create the circumstances uh, with my communication abilities to go through that, which was the point of me getting out of there and using Spidey sense. Because the conversations with him, like, I just kept asking, like, where is your spidey sense, bro? Like, where's your super sense awareness? Like, what's going on here? How are you still getting poisoned by these people? Do you just want to get messed up? Like, huh? So, uh, like, maybe he does. But that's where I had to tell him <laughs> that I was going out of town. We did not meet up that next day. I have not texted him since. And he's never texted me. Like, are you back in town? Because I'm pretty sure he knows. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure after that last meeting, he's like, this kid better not try to see me again. Like, I'm going to want to see him again because I want to connect with someone who wants to connect with me. But for his safety, like, literally, I'm like, I'm sitting here alone at Starbucks with a guy behind me watching me. And then the kid, because I'm a kid to this man. This man's like 50 something. I, so, all right. So like I'm 24. He's calling me a kid. He's referring to me as a kid, whatever. Like, so I'm just putting myself in his mind. He better have, he better understand. He definitely does. Like for him to be in a Starbucks, like, oh yes, I'm meeting a kid and there's this man behind me who's watching me and he wants to hurt me and hurt the people in my life. And they killed my wife and they hurt my friends and do these awful things and kidnap me and mutilate me and blah, 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 blah. Oh, now I better tell this kid that we need to go outside, even though we normally sit outside and I'm the one who is sitting inside and I'm the one who has this man here. And now let me tell this kid about how the man who followed me here is super dangerous. And then, oh, snap, the man actually came out and followed us and he recorded me and the kid. Let me tell the kid about how the man totally recorded us. Oh, okay, good. The kid understands. Well, let me tell the kid that I think this man feels like someone who is a serial killer and someone who gets paid to torture people. I literally can't imagine that him as a spirit would want me to keep hanging out with him. It's actually impossible based on everything he was communicating. So this is the wisdom of S and the wisdom of lying, because ideally you don't lie. But sometimes when you're in a body, the wisdom is you have to lie. Like the body itself is a lie. So when you're uh, trying to connect with other people, we are all lying. This is then the point of like when you validate someone's ego. So many people will very well not actually believe or think that I am this spirit. And instead, because they want to connect with me, because they want what I have, they'll validate my ego. That's him. But he didn't actually believe I'm this spirit. He didn't actually believe I'm Hermes. He didn't believe that I'm Tehuti. He couldn't even like perceive it based on everything I'm saying. It's like, it, like he just can't actually perceive what I'm projecting out because he's lost in his projection of himself. So that's the wisdom of being a snake and knowing that anytime you're connecting with someone, you have to lie and you have to look like them. That's why I look like a human in this way. And we all look similar S energy, same S and similar, same, similar enough to be able to vibe, to be able to ride a wave 
and be able to project our ideas into each other and be silent and speak in a way that we all feel understood and we all feel like we're human and we all feel like we deserve the same rights in everything. Because the whole point is that we're all spirits creating life from the right to the left. So of course we deserve rights. We are the right. You do deserve freedom. You are freedom. Much love. Mwah.